Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Wim Akwan. I am so delighted to have you watch this video. In today's video, I want to speak on a topic that is derived from Matthew chapter 4, where Jesus was tempted by the devil. The first temptation of the devil to Jesus is what I want to measure on. The devil telling Jesus to turn stones into bread. And I believe that in our lives there are things that looks like that, that have a picture of stones to bread. You know, the fact is that bread is a good thing, but yet the stone is not what is used to make bread. Stones and bread have nothing in common in their composition. So the devil trying to tell Jesus to turn stone into bread is what we want to analyze in this very video. It's one of those things that the devil might be tempting us to try and do that are not in line with God's will. And the truth is that the devil will never tempt you with something that you do not have a desire for. So Jesus was fasting in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. And after the fast, he was hungered according to the King James Version. He was hungered, the word used there is he was famished. He craved for food. So the devil now takes advantage of this hunger, this desire, this appetite, and try to bring the temptation to him to make him miss track or to distract him from where he was going to, from the purpose of the Father. And in our lives, God has purposes and dreams for us. And at some point, the devil might try to distract us by bringing a temptation. So here's my first point. If the devil is trying to make you turn stones to bread, he's trying to make you get something good, but disregarding the process of getting it. He's trying to make you get something that is good, but yet he wants you to disregard the right process by which you could get that good thing. So the Bible says that every good and perfect gift comes from God the Father in James chapter 1 verse 17. So God always desires to give us all good things, but yet these good things have a procedure or a protocol, a process by which God wants us to get it. But the devil's way is to make us go out of God's will and out of God's way to get a good thing that he already has planned to give us. For example, you may have a desire to be rich, which is a good thing. The Bible says, I wish that thou mayest prosper and be in health. So God wants you to prosper. God wants you to be rich. God wants you to have have enough so that you can be a conduit of his providence to other people but yet the devil might come to you you really need to be rich because you are needy now there's a need in your life you're poor and you you know your background your background might have been so bad that you are like i'm not going to repeat what has been around in my family i'm not going to remain a poor man and god doesn't want you to be a poor man or to remain a poor man or woman but the problem is the devil will make you go after that the wrong way turn these stones into bread like you want to be rich cheat people defraud people do people do all kinds of evil thing to get this and there are a lot of people that try to enrich themselves by this evil means truth is god really wants people to be rich but going about it the wrong way is the devil that is tempting you that is leading you there to turn stones into bread but you don't have to go about getting rich in a way that dishonors god because the bible says that god is the one that gives you power to get wealth so god is interested in you being wealthy because he wants you to be a good steward everything that you have comes from him and he wants you to steward this and not just for your selfish ambition so what god does is the bible says he gives you power to get wealth which is god can give you a power idea that's what I call it. That power idea now will be a drive for you to, to dream of inventions, a drive for you to actually find solution to problems in the world, a drive for you to be of service to people. And by being of service to people, the truth is it will bring wealth to you. Point number two, the devil is trying to tempt you to stone, stone, I say stone stones, to turn stones into bread. He is trying to get you to meet a valid need in a wrong way. A valid need in your life could be so different depending on who you are. So we all have different needs in our lives. Like Jesus was hungry, he had a desire for food and now the devil is coming to him and say yeah it's food you need it's bread you need but yet get it this way get it the wrong way turn stones to bread but stones and bread has nothing in, in common in composition it might be there is a need in your life but the devil wants you to meet that need the wrong way let me explain this how does the devil try to make you meet a valid need the wrong way 
he brings prescriptions. So the devil prescribed for Jesus what to do, but he was actually trying to distract Jesus because his prescription was not in line with God's will. So had it been God even wanted to make a miracle of making bread, he could call out bread from the sky. Jesus had the power to do anything. He had the power to speak for bread. He multiplied five loaves of bread and two fishes, but yet it was not in God's will for him to make it from stones. That was the devil's prescription. The truth is the devil will always try to get you to meet the valid need that you have the wrong way it could be like you need a godly relationship but yet what the devil will do is to try to get you to be unequally yoked and maybe tell you you have not found your speck the speck that you need in the church why not go to the club and drag one to church <laughs> you've not found who you need in the christian society why not just take this one that is available here and try to make them love god try to get someone to change so that you can then marry them is not in God's agenda. Now, I'm not saying that God doesn't want people to come to know him, but that's different from you trying to do an evangelical date. That's turning stones into bread. And this is someone here, and you know that the person's values and yours are not compatible, but you are like ignoring all the red flags that you might see and then get unequally yoked. It will actually break you or make you fall. Samson fell for it out of the lust in his heart. At the end of the day, it led to his demise because he was unequally yoked. He only went for what he desired, not what God prescribed for him. So you want a godly relationship, follow godly pattern and godly ways of getting that. Secondly, it could be you feel lonely. Sometimes you feel empty. Sometimes you feel worthless. You know, the devil can actually bring a lot of things to you and present, prescribe it to you as things that will help you. Like you could prescribe having sex with multiple people, like trying to sleep with everybody that comes along like maybe the more you sleep with them it could look therapeutic for you or it can make you go into alcohol and drugs and say oh when i take alcohol it helps my anxiety or when i take drugs it just calms my mind or when i take this when i do this when i do that but all those prescriptions are not in line with god's view they are only to destroy you because the more you go into doing these things they now become addictive you now become addicted to them and without them you cannot stay without having sex with these and that you feel incomplete so now you have to depend on these things but that's not god's way god didn't make you to depend on those things to survive in life he made you so that you'll be dependent in him because he is your source he's the only one that can feel the emptiness in you and destroy him alone that you know your value that you can even get to value yourself the right way you can be alone but you know that emmanuel is with you but the devil will always bring prescriptions so if you're in a place that the devil has brought such prescriptions to you to try something that you feel the valid need that you that you have the devil is tempting you to turn stones into bread point number three the devil is tempting you to turn stones into bread he is making you to try to use something bad to achieve something good so the devil could be trying to tell you to turn something bad and use it to achieve something good as a christian single the devil could tempt you by deceit to use pornography to learn something you know make it look like oh i'm preparing for my future marriage i'm learning about sex for my future marriage so that's what i'm using pornography for that's a lie from the devil and all he wants to do is to pervert your mind get you stuck and get you addicted to a cycle that it will be very hard for you to break because sometimes you might feel like oh how will i know when i get married no nobody has ever been an expert in sex at all god's way is the best the devil can tempt you to try and turn these stones to bread use pornography and then try to look like he wants you to use it to learn something he could tempt you to use masturbation as a christian single who says okay i'm trying to keep myself for god i don't want to go into any sexual immorality of any kind but yet he might tempt you and deceive you make it look like because signs have said that masturbation is nothing there's nothing wrong with it so you might want to run with that knowledge and say nothing wrong with masturbation is not a sin but actually it is a part of a sexual immorality because it actually perverts your mind too so if the devil is trying to get you to use masturbation maybe to learn self-control the fact is it's a lie because going into masturbation instead of giving you making you disciplined it will actually loosen you that was a lie the devil used on me some years ago when i was stuck in that period of masturbation like 
I was addicted to masturbation for a number of years and it was like when it started it was like a good option that the devil presented a good prescription it was like you know you try to learn self-control kind of like if someone wants to seduce you you won't be moved like you'll be strong you know and all of that so but that was a big lie because the devil is just tricky but that was it for me so for you it could be a different thing okay I'm, I'm doing this because it does this for me I'm doing this to try to get this it's trying to make you use something bad to achieve something good and that never arrives in a good place so whatever the devil is trying to use it could even be in the context of a christian marriage christian home where the couples could say okay now we can watch pornography to try and use it to learn how to better our sex experience our sex life and all of that but it will never arrive at what you want using a bad thing will never bring forth a good thing for you at the end of the day that's the devil trying to tell you turn these stones to break you don't have to let the devil deceive you concerning that sign number four the devil is tempting you to turn stones into bread by trying to get you to prove yourself by doing something wrong he wants to make you to prove yourself the devil said to jesus if you are the son of god that's manipulative he's trying to manipulate the son of god like prove yourself here yeah. if you are the son of god turn these stones to bread so the devil could also be trying to get you to prove yourself by doing something wrong that isn't trying to get you to turn stones into bread so if you love me it could be from a man or a a lady if you love me then have sex with me but there is no correlation between sex and love because love is a commitment to care for someone to be kind to someone love does not interpret sex neither does sex interpret love because you can have sex with someone that you do not even love at all if you want to say if you love me you know you gotta sleep with me and that that's a big lie from the devil from the enemy you don't have to get yourself deceived to get into such a thing do not Try to bless someone to try to get you to prove yourself or prove something by doing something that God has not approved of for you. Any form of manipulation is not godly. It's not God's way. So don't allow anyone to manipulate you to compromise just to prove yourself or to prove something. You don't have to prove anything to the, to anybody. Jesus didn't try to prove himself to the devil. The devil said, if you are the son of God, he didn't go arguing with him, but he actually used wisdom through the word. No man shall not live by bread alone. So he didn't even focus on the manipulation that he brought. He ignored that manipulative tactic of the devil and then introduced him to the word. It is written, man shall not live by bread alone. So you can tell yourself, I'm not going to try to prove myself or prove anything to anyone and let them kind of lead me astray from the will of God. As a young man or young lady, you're challenged, you know, prove that you're a real woman, prove that you're a real man, do this or do that. But that thing they're asking you to do is not in God's will for you. The devil is trying to tempt you. Do not consent to it. So I would like to conclude this way. Jesus actually recognized he had a valid need. But yet, he knew also that his appetite could not be what is controlling him. He knew also that he could not be controlled by his desires. He knew also that he could not be controlled by his cravings. So you as a child of God should know that whatever craving or desire or need you have, it's valid, yeah, but yet you don't have to be controlled by them. So Jesus told the devil, man shall not live by bread alone because he had he is the word, is the living word. It is written. Jesus didn't try to use his own words to try to fight the devil. He used the word of God. I felt like Jesus was like, when the devil told him, turn this stones into bread if you are the son of God. I know I'm hungry. I'm probably, I would use some bread because of my hunger, but I don't want it like this. And it's not by turning stones to become bread before I get to eat. So he said, man shall not live by bread alone because bread is not the only means of livelihood, because bread is not the only means of satisfaction, because food is not the only means of satisfaction, because sex is not the only means of satisfaction. So, but man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So you could say in your own ways, if you are tempted to turn stones into bread, yes, I'm honey. I would desire some company, but not like this. I want to obey God. I am loyal to God's word because that's what brings me total satisfaction and real satisfaction. So having some company and having some cheap sex is not going to satisfy me. So I'm going to wait and marry legally and stick to my wife. I'm not going to go out for some illicit sex just because 
The devil is trying to present me some stones to turn into bread. You know, you could also say, I'm needy. I would want some money, but I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to defraud people. I'm not going to do anything that is dishonoring to my God just to meet this need that I have. But yet, I'm going to stick to God's will. I'm going to be loyal to God's word because in God is my provision. In God, I have all that I need. I hope this video has been a blessing to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe down here. You say subscribe button. Click the subscribe button. Share and like this video. God bless you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.